So my camera cut off, but what I was saying is that's a parasite. When people want to attach themselves to you only for what benefits them, that's a parasite. If their heart is not in it, they are a parasite. Organism that live on you for its own selfish gain. It lives on and it feeds on. That's a parasite, but you don't mean anything to them. Oh, I'm talking to somebody out there today. That's what you're up against out of the demonic realm. Remember, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. You understand? Remember, a parasite is always seeking a host. Something it can get something out of, but it never gives. It takes. Like a tick sucking blood off a dog's back. That tick is a parasite. The dog is a host. And then you all wonder why people out there are always trying to walk the dog on you. Oh my God. Who am I talking to out there? Who am I talking to out there? Who you know that there are people around you, you don't mean nothing to them at all. But there's a benefit. There's something that you have that they want. That they want to feed off of. So that they can flourish. So that they can thrive. So that they can speak their all of that. Some people who have a parasitic nature, a parasitic nature, excuse me, they want to chase your name for clout. Oh, I know such and such. To try to make themselves look good, you know. Or oh, I knew such and such. To try to make themselves look good. Or, you know, yeah, I used to kick it with such and such to try to make other people think they know you when they don't. Am I talking to somebody out there today? About chasing. Don't know you from a fly on the wall. Don't know you from a tick on a, on a cat's back, so to speak, whatever. But they are clout chasing. They're parasites. Because you, they feel like you make them look good. If they are seen with you, even if they're not seen with you, if they if they can convince other people that they have some sort of affiliation with you. Oh, I used to be this, or I used to be that, or I know him, or I know her. But that's because they feel they're nothing. So they're clout chasing off of your name, your reputation, and your status. And it's not about you all being uh, super rich. This is not about money. This is about parasites in the last days and how people feed off of other people. Because they can't stand within any power within themselves because they don't have no power apart from you and clout chasing. They want to stand on your name because their name bears no worth. Can I talk to somebody? A parasite is also a person who uses others to obtain an advantage without doing anything in exchange. That's a parasite. For those of you out there that have um, an abundance of money and you got a pack of people following you and they are not contributing anything to your life, that's a parasite. They're following you because of your finances and your fame and your status and your name. That's a parasite. They're feeding off of you. And if you allow them to feed long enough, they will suck you dry. That's the reason why I feel like it is a naive thing for people to take people that were not there with them in the valley to their mountaintop. Whatever your mountain top may be. Your mountain top may not be millions of dollars, but you you all out there, you may have an abundance in the Lord. Can't nobody do it like you do it. Can't nobody rock it like you rock it. When you and God get together, you are a powerhouse. Father's a powerhouse of his own strength. But working through you, no demon, no devil can stand in your presence and be at peace and be at You and Father are a tag team, so to speak. Parasite contaminates. So you 
brothers and you sisters, if you've ever rolled up on the wrong person that wasn't about anything, that was a contaminant. It was identified as a human being, but it is a contaminant as it pertains to the realm of the spirit because it was something that was sent to taint you and destroy you. For the thief cometh not, but for to what? Steal and to kill and to destroy. Father said it best. So what are we battling in these last days? Parasites and contaminants. One and the same. And what does a contaminant do? It is a polluting or poisonous substance that makes something impure. My sister, if an ungodly man is trying to come into your life and ask you out, it's to make you impure. My brother in the Lord, if an ungodly woman is shaking her tail and flapping her breast in front of you, acting like she wants to be involved with you, it's to make you impure. Because they want to lead you into fornication, which is forbidden by the Lord. They want, or for those of you that are married, they want to lead you into adultery. You have to see the agenda of Satan to understand the motivation of Satan to identify the minions of Satan and who he uses and utilizes. The parasites that he has out here disguised in human flesh. Can I talk this thing out today? This thing is serious because you must understand that the devil has sought you out in here today. The devil walked to and fro in the earth seeking whom he may devour. Am I talking to somebody out there today? It is no coincidence that you all have dated the people you've dated throughout your lives. That you married the people you married throughout your lives and things didn't work out. That was a parasite. That was a contaminant that was sent toward you intentionally by the devil himself. Now, I understand everything is not the devil. Some things Father allowed, but I just refuse to believe that Father is going to deliberately send you a contaminant. He will allow a contaminant to teach you something. To teach you that it's not good for you. To teach you that it's not good to go against God's will. To teach you to let God be true but every man alive. A contaminant telling you they love you. A parasite telling you I'm helping you. But you ride in their back. But you're committing adultery on them. You're cheating on them. You're telling them you love them, but you're, you just crawled out of the bed with somebody else. That's not love. That's a parasite that's not only using you, but using the one that they, that they just crawled out of the bed with. Can I talk this thing out today? Parasites ain't got no love. Contaminants ain't got no love. They don't even love themselves. They just want to suck somebody else dry. Oh, well, who am I talking to out there today? They want to suck your finances. They want to suck your food out of the refrigerator. They want to suck the very life out of your body. They want to suck your spirit. That's the reason why so many people are walking around broken. And you were happier before you ever crossed paths with that devil. Young lady, young man, more mature lady, more mature man, because that's a parasite. You rolled up on a parasitic attachment. I said a hotel parasitic attachment. Because the purpose of parasitic people is to pull you all into either whoredom or to have you transgress God's law in some way, shape, or form. You must understand that some people only come towards you to pull you out of the will of God for your life. And you know what? Father allows it. Because he's going to teach you in that thing. Because as they're pulling you, Father is walking with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't walk away just because a parasite comes. He's the one that allowed the parasite. Because he's going to teach you something in that thing. He's going to teach you something in that furnace. He's going to teach you something in that lion's den. It's going to shut the lion's mouth. It's going to protect you from the smoke and the flames and the fire in the fiery furnace. 